all right what's going on happy tuesday just gonna do a little short one today today we are going to inspect the thickness the wall thickness of some reducers here so what we've got is brand new fairly well used and fully expired <laughs> so what we got here is a digital caliper uh, this is from Amazon I borrowed this from David at uh, Mountainside Repair he's saying he found this for about 50 bucks so I'm gonna see if I can find a link to this and uh, and I'll post it below so we'll zero this out let's measure a new one here what's a new one measure at? 7.1 is the new one. Let's find our used one here. And there's a spot I scraped clean with my fancy Goodson Carbide Super Scraper right here. Let's see what this measures at. Uh, 3.4. Measure in a couple spots here just to be safe. I can find another clean spot. Yeah, we'll come right over here. Yeah, 3.3, .3, so not too bad. Now, just for fun, let's see what this blown one measures at. And yeah, you don't want to run your stuff down to this point. I found this laying off in the corner of the yard. I don't know what the story is with this. But uh, you definitely want to replace this before it becomes that. But let's see where it popped. It measures at... A whopping one millimeter pop can thickness so yeah no good so I'm actually gonna replace this uh, moderately worn one anyhow because there's something funky going on with this let me know if you can spot it between those two reducers you know anything or notice anything I should say something maybe maybe kind of like this <laughs> it's uh, somehow this thing is bent and I'm assuming that's just from from going right off the back end of the pump and it's stroking and it's putting uh putting some some side uh side forces torsional forces whatever you want to call it and actually bending the reducer so i think what i might start doing in the future is running a second four inch elbow and then this five or four to three reducer as such that when it's stroking it's not it's not twisting so much that's the word I'm looking for the twisting force it's twisting on it but yeah if i run a second four inch elbow off of here and then flip this down i think it's going to uh, going to mitigate that so so that's that's how we check these things and uh yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't wear this down much much thinner than it is two and a half three mils is kind of what i would say yeah, if they're brand new they're almost seven so we get down to about three where this is it's it's time how this thing got down to one millimeter i don't know that's why it's important don't measure in this area you want to measure right where that flange from the weld to the flange right in here measure it right in here not down here because it's still nice and thick everywhere else for instance if i drop this in a little bit you're still at about 4.4 millimeters and it's not because it's thicker there it's just that it's much less worn so so yeah anyhow not too much else going to the yard here today um, we did change out on this thing we changed out passenger side fuel pickup it uh, it was not drawing fuel from that tank and it's been like that for quite some time so we uh, pulled out the old old sending unit and she was just full of junk so that's been fixed up. We got uh, pretty much everything else sitting parked here today. It's a little bit hot out, so our jobs, most of them were wrapped up early. 56 meter, he went out and did a little suspended slab. 58 was just uh, a wallflower today, which is pretty rare for that pump. The 39 meter here, the high pressure 39, he did a uh, level 28 on a high rise, I believe. 47, sitting back there, getting some paint, getting some polish. Let's do a quick little tour around the yard. I don't really, I don't really do this too often. So mix it up a little bit, you know, something a little different. 
rather than just out pumping the creek. 2015 model is what that pump is. 2008 is what that one is. That thing, I, I don't know. It uh, predates history. Is that the right terminology? Uh, this one here is a 20... 2018? 2018-2019. 47-meter here. She's an old girl. New bumper on this one. Corey got uh, wiped out by a transit bus, so we got a nice new heavy bumper on there. I like these ones. They're a lot thicker than the factory ones. They don't peen back like a sheet of tin foil. But way more robust. Yeah, nice little quick touch up on the rims. The old power ball and some auto saw. 20 foot paint job. Looks good. Looks like brand new from, from back here. Brand new. And inside here, David's actually here today from uh, Mountainside Repair. He's just doing a uh, service here on our 38 meter. He still helps us out from time to time. He got some shiny new wheels on his rig. Look at that. This one here is a bit of a bear because of the hose rack. A little more in. Yeah, that should be good. She's alive, eh? Yeah, it's a little dirty under here. What's going on, guys? <laughs> out of sight, out of mind, man. It sits, <laughs> it sits under the custom hose tray. Yeah. Oh, so that drains out the oil in the, uh, the filter body. Yeah, exactly. Pop the bolts loose. Pop the housing back. Yeah. And then you can just drain out the oil. Uh, if you don't pop the bolts loose, what is there, a valve in there? Is it just vacuum that'll keep it from uh, draining? there be a flapper in the back. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, so it self-seals as well then? Yeah. So the tank doesn't keep draining out? Yeah, exactly. That's pretty smart. Is it like a Putzmeister thing? Oh, that's pretty common. No, well, that's common. It is common. Well, I was kind of fishing for you to say it was a fancy Putzmeister thing. Nope. Putzmeister's the best. <laughs> but no, everybody's doing it. Everybody. <laughs> everybody's doing it. Do a lay flat hose. I actually tried this a couple days ago. It's a three inch lay flat. And uh, as luck would have it, it was one of our uh, 0.7 percentile jobs throughout the year that uh, the mix won't go through a three inch hose. So it was, it was terrible. So there won't be a video on that. <laughs> but I'm hoping to get a chance to try it out again sometime this week, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Just tooting around the yard this afternoon. Oh, I did a little a little welding here before we go. I want to show you how uh, masterful of a fabricator I am. <laughs> Can you catch the sarcasm? This cap here went missing like a year ago, and every time when the water tank is full, and this thing makes a hard left-hand turn, and the, the water comes out, and if you got uh, a hot shot beside you in a convertible, you know where the water's going, right? It's actually kind of funny, because you can watch it all unfold in the mirror. Um, but then they call the number on the side of the truck. We really got to stop putting phone numbers on the truck for that reason. I'm kidding. But anyhow, I uh, I fabbed this up. I made it all by myself. No, she's not symmetrical, but she's functional. I put that square tube on there so it's heavy enough that the water doesn't shoot the thing right out. So, but yeah, that's pretty much about the extent of our day today. Got the little, little crane sitting over there. That's a new a new addition, a new toy. I don't know much about that. Can't tell you much about that, but uh, yeah. I'd say that's about it. So probably, uh, well, not probably, I will definitely be back on Saturday with a full length concrete pumping action video. But uh, this will be it for today. Just a little bit of a shorty, you know. Just something different mixed up a little bit. Show you what we do around the yard when we're in between pumping concrete jobs, so. Like, share, subscribe, times three, over and out. Check your reducers, check your pipes. Get a digital caliper just like this. I will, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll search high and low and I'll find a link for this thing, so.